Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I thought we'd do a comparison or a quick comparison between the fingerprint sensors on the OnePlus 2 and the iPhone 6 Plus. Now up to this point, pretty much, the iPhone 6 Plus has been the most accurate and fastest fingerprint reader uh, that I've used anyway. I've used all the different fingerprint readers on all of the different phones, and I find this one to be the quickest and most accurate. However, that could have all changed with the OnePlus 2. Now the OnePlus 2 has a fingerprint sensor right here that's not a button. The iPhone actually has a button. So what you do is after you register your fingerprint, you push the button, hold your finger on it, and it unlocks. So instead of just putting your finger there, that won't work. You actually have to push it down and then hold. On the OnePlus 2, you put your finger there, and then it unlocks. You just hold your finger there and it unlocks. So I wanted to show you the different speed differences and how that works. So let's give it a try. Now, this one seems to be uh, working about 99% of the time. Sometimes it doesn't register my finger uh, and turn on the device. 99% of the time it works on the iPhone as well. Neither of them work if your fingers are wet. So I've programmed both of these fingers into each of the touch ID so we could do this test here. So let's move these up and I'll show you. We'll, we'll put these on here. I'll push and hold and then tap here. So that time touch ID one on the iPhone 6 Plus. Let's try it again. See, that time the iPhone lost. I had to push the button again. Now, that said, none of these are actually perfect, so I wanted to do this a couple different times. Now, I've also programmed my thumbs, so let's try these. There we go. The one plus two is definitely faster in that test. We'll do it again. There we go. So I had to click it again on the iPhone and let's do it one more time with the thumbs. See, in that time it didn't register my thumb or again, now it did. So both of them are not perfect and they're a little bit hit and miss, but they're both very good. And usually I find the one plus two to be a little bit quicker as far as unlocking. So if I bring this up here, I'll show you if I shut it off, and then I put my thumb down, it unlocks. We'll do it one more time. So you'll see I'll just tap and hold. See, it didn't work that time or that time. There we go, and then it did. So sometimes there's a little bit of a delay. Now let's try it with the iPhone 6 Plus. We'll bring this up, shut the display off here, click, and unlock again. You can do it with this finger too. Click and unlock. So you can see it works pretty good. Uh, the one thing that is a little bit more reassuring is the click. So it actually doesn't activate until you click it. Where on the one plus two, as soon as you touch this, it actually activates. So I don't have this finger program, so it won't even turn on the display. But if I put my thumb here again, it wakes it up. So it's really nice. It works most of the time. And I've programmed both thumbs and this finger here for this test into the phone. And I think it works really well. Uh, both of them are not 100% perfect, like I said, and I would love to see future improvements. And I'm I'm sure that'll come. At this time, both fingerprint readers are very, very good. Obviously, it looks like the OnePlus 2 is a little bit quicker than the iPhone 6 Plus at this point, but this one you actually have to physically click in order for it to activate. So both have their advantages and disadvantages. They're both using, I guess, similar technology, but supposedly Apple holds the patent on the way they're doing it, so it could be a little different. But I love the idea of all of my phones having this fingerprint reader that's stored securely, and basically I can unlock my phone with it without a long password having to enter that every single time. I can just put my thumb on it, it unlocks. It's really nice, it's great for payments on the iPhone and when they start integrating more and more of that with NFC, although the OnePlus 2 doesn't have NFC, when you see this in other devices, more and more it'll be a really nice way to be able to pay for things and it is on the iPhone now. So that's definitely a great thing in my opinion for the future.
For those of you out there that have an iPhone 6, 6 Plus, or 5S with Touch ID, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. If you've had good luck with it or bad luck with it, uh, let me know there. If you have a OnePlus 2, and no, I'm sorry, I don't have any invites at this time. When I do, I'll be sure to give a bunch of them out. But right now, I don't have any. But if you have one of these or you've tried one, what do you think of the fingerprint reader? Let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like the video. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.